In this tutorial on GarageBand for the iPhone or iPod Touch, I'm going to be demonstrating the smart strings and some of the features available within it. Let's get started by adding the smart strings. This interface pops up, and what you have here is very similar to the other smart instruments. You can play the full chord by tapping on the top here, you kind of like a bow tap sound. You can also play the notes within the chord individually by tapping within the column. You can bow the chord out by moving your finger up and down within the column. The faster you go, the louder it gets. You can change which type of strings you're playing by tapping on this button here, and then tapping on which ones you want to bring in and out. If they're grayed out, that means you're currently not playing them. So right now we're just playing the bass, as you can hear. If you want to play the notes on the fretboard, you can do so by going back to this screen and then tapping on where it says chords and notes. And then you get to select which strings you're actually playing the single notes on. So let's go ahead and do the violin and tap back on this. And now you have a fretboard. You may notice that you don't have any frets. It's because like a real violin, you wouldn't have any frets. You have little fret markers down here at the bottom which indicate where the frets would be. So you can kind of, gives you a guide of where the notes are. Not so slide pretty easily. So let's go back and let's add a track on top of what we've played so far. I'm going to bring the rest of these in. Let's bring it back to the beginning. All right, and let's record something. Sounds good. You have a couple of different string sections that you can choose from. I'm tapping this button in the top left corner here and tapping on where it says cinematic. I really can't hear much of a difference between them though. I'm going to use the pop one. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And that's going to conclude this tutorial on the smart strings. Stay tuned for my next tutorial where I'm going to explain how to use the smart keyboard.